Tonight, an impeachment showdown in the Senate, with Democrats essentially dismissing charges against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas in a matter of hours. Hear ye, hear ye. Arguing the impeachment by House Republicans was unconstitutional. To validate this gross abuse by the House would be a grave mistake and could set a dangerous precedent for the future. But Republicans blasting the move to not hold a trial, arguing Democrats are defying hundreds of years of Senate precedent. This process must not be abused. It must not be short-circuited. History will not judge this moment well. House Republicans accuse Mayorkas of willfully ignoring immigration laws with a record 9.3 million migrants crossing into the U.S. during the Biden administration. Mayorkas calls the accusations baseless. Democrats say there's no impeachable offense. Meanwhile, House Speaker Mike Johnson facing off with his own party tonight, releasing his plan for aid to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan in three separate packages. Combined, the proposal would provide $95 billion in funding and is very similar to the already passed Senate bill that bundled the plans together. Though in Johnson's proposal, $9.5 billion of Ukraine aid is through loans, not grants, a demand of former President Trump. But bringing Ukraine aid to the floor means Johnson is putting his job in danger. House conservatives railed against the plan. I don't think we should be throwing $95 billion uh, overseas when we have wide open borders and American people are being endangered. Tonight, Johnson arguing the stakes around the world are too high. I'm doing here what I believe to be the right thing. Um, I think pr providing lethal aid to Ukraine right now is critically important. So, Ryan, when will the House vote on these aid bills? Lester, Speaker Johnson has said that lawmakers will get 72 hours to read the legislation, meaning the earliest they could vote on it is Saturday. It will likely require Democratic votes in order to pass. And then the focus will shift to whether or not any Republicans will move to boot Johnson from his job. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.